What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I am back with a new, I guess if we want to call it a series, I don't know if I want to call it a series or just a little adventure or a little journey. I'm going to call it a journey actually, I like that. So on our new Pokemon journey and uh, I'm excited because Canada, I know for the States you guys have probably gotten it for time now, but in Canada we just got the McDonald's packs and I got my hands on some of them. And slowly, I want to complete an entire master set of the McDonald's 25th anniversary promo cards, packs, whatever you guys want to call it. But I want to finish the master set, okay? We opened one pack already in uh, the last episode, which I did an opening with my girlfriend. She brought one pack over, and I just really liked the cards. And I was like, man, okay, I want to get the master set. But I don't want to just buy the master set. I want to pull it myself here on the channel. So that's what we're going to do. If you guys like these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. Now, the reason I'm really excited is because I feel like one, this is really attainable and it's really like fairly cheap. Um, I actually got a bunch of these packs and I'm not going to open them all in one episode because I kind of want to, you know, do this sporadically here and there. But the really cool thing is I got a lot of these packs for pretty cheap. I think I paid like some of them. I paid like $3 a pack. I got them from different sellers. Uh, but some of them I paid like three dollars a pack some of them I paid like four to five So it, it, it's kind of differs, but it's pretty affordable. I would say as of right now I think these are gonna go up I also have my own collection or I'm gonna start collecting the sealed ones as well Like because there's I guess technically ten different toys. Um, so I'm gonna start collecting all of them Hopefully, I mean we do pretty good. I know I gave you guys a way too long intro um, But here we are in the packs here are five packs today um, and I, I don't even know what comes in each. So these ones actually, the reasons I wanted to open these ones, um, so this is toy six and toy eight, okay? The reason I want to open these ones is because when the seller was giving them to me, they actually like accidentally ripped open. Um, but there are still packs in here, so I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, there's still packs in here, there's still the toy in here, whatever comes in there. I know some of them come with stickers, some of them come with other things. I'm not really sure what comes with what, but here, I guess we can first get into it. So this is toy six. So for anyone who doesn't know, I guess toy six, we get these big stickers. And we got, uh, the most recent starters actually on this one. That's pretty cool. I want the Gen 3 starters. Eventually, if I'm gonna pull something, I guess technically this is part of the opening, but if I'm gonna pull something, I definitely want the Gen 3 starters um, and the stickers, but I'm probably gonna want to get all of them anyways. I'm probably gonna just pull all these packs out before we get into it. Um, this is toy, this is toy eight. And toy eight comes with a little, what is this, like a postcard? This is really nice though. I'm a really big fan of this actually. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. But I, I kind of really like this. I'm going to put this aside. Um, and it does come with... Oh, stickers as well. But baby stickers. Nice. I like this one. Oh, I like this. I like that. Where's... Oh, they don't have the older starters on this one. Oh, no. Okay, well. If they do come with some with the older starters, that'd be pretty cool. I guess we just open all of these up. Now, if you guys are wondering, in the future, do you think these are going to hold value? Yes, they're definitely going to hold value. That's why I would say pick them up now. Do these ones come with the, the old starters? The Gen 3 starters specifically. If it wants to open. No, not the... Does it even have the Gen 3 starters? And again, this thing. Which I still don't know exactly what this thing is, but I really like the art. That's, what, three packs out there. Here's four packs. I know you guys came for the packs. You guys didn't come for all this other stuff. But I'm really curious to see if they have the Gen 3 starters anywhere here. No, not the Gen 3 starters again. All right, let me get this garbage out of the way real quick. And final pack, this one's Toy 6. So this one should come with the stickers as well, I think, right? Uh, the big stickers? Yeah, which one did this one come with? Oh, okay, I think I had these. So when um, I actually did the opening with my girlfriend, I actually had, uh, I pulled those same stickers. But we got five packs over here. There's four cards per pack. Um, the only hollow we have so far, because again, we've only opened one pack on the channel. The only hollow we have so far is the Squirtle. So I, I'll take anything but the Squirtle. And of course, we are searching for that Pikachu. Let's go. McDonald's 2021. Um, were they 2020 for the US? I don't remember exactly how old they are in the States, but I know 2021 in Canada This is a really nice thumbnail shot. So that's why I just paused it for a second. But we're gonna get into it Now these packs are a little bit harder to open. Yeah, I think I have to open them this way because I'm pretty sure The hollows at the front and I don't want to spoil the hollow right away now Am I gonna get these graded? I don't know if I pull duplicates of like a Pikachu or something that I find really nice again Trico is my favorite starter of all time, or gen, the Gen 3 starters in general are some of my favorites. Nice, this is a good comment. This is a good, 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 good comment. Let me just touch my camera real quick. This is a good comment, I really want this. Uh, it's one of the better foils as well, I would say. So we got a Charmander, Fennekin, nice, because I, I don't have either of these actually. Litten, okay, nice. So we're adding to the commons, and we got a Turtwig, nice. I really like this artwork on the Turtwig actually, funny enough. Um, Gen 3 is my favorite though, as I was saying, so I really want to pull the Trico, the Torchic and stuff. Now I'm curious, I don't think this is the case. I'm going to have to sleeve these all up eventually actually, so 
I'll just leave up the Turtwig for now. Um, I'll see about the church week for now. The rest of them can go on the binder a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if, because there's different toys, like toys one to eight, right? For example, do the same toys have the same cards? No, right? It's just one big set. I mean, I guess we're about to find out because we opened uh, three pack eights, or three toy eights. So if we get the same pack, then yes. But I don't think that's the case though. There's 25 cards in the set. Again, each card comes in a hollow foil form and the common form. We're completing the master set, which means... We want both the hollow foil and the nice, good, good common. If only you only can get the uh, the the what's it called, the uh, foil. That'd be crazy. But this is nice. This is a good common. Okay, so we got the Pikachu, chest spin. Nice. We'll take all of these at the moment. Like I, I'm telling you, I don't have any of these, so we will take all of them. Chest spin, Totodile. Nice. I mean, we should ex nice. We take these. Now here's what I'm curious about. Why did they change up? Um, is it, I don't know, is it, because I know these are reprints of cards. Is this how they were printed? Because see, this one has like the set number here, but this one has a set number here. So I don't know why they changed it up between cards. I, I guess these are reprints, so I guess this is how the cards were originally printed. Um, but yeah, I, I, like I was saying, right now we're not getting any doubles because again, we've only opened one pack of the, the thing on the channel before. I guess this would be now three packs. Um, but so pretty much everything we get is going to be pretty good. As long as we don't get a Squirtle foil. I think everything we get is going to be pretty solid, especially the holes. I don't, I, or the non holes. I mean, I don't have any of these, so all of these are going into the master sets, which is going to be kind of nice. Um, so let's get into the next pack. And again, once we get that Pikachu out of the way, I feel like it's going to be a lot easier because I feel like the Pikachu again is the hardest. Oh, that one's kind of nicked. That's unfortunate. The foils look like they're in pretty good condition though. Maybe I nicked that when I was opening the pack. Maybe that's my bad. Okay, Piplup. I know we have a Piplup. That was that one was the one we pulled before. Uh, Cyndaquil we pulled before as well. This is kind of nice. Mudkip, good. We're still getting off with the Gen 3 starters finally. Um, that was that the first Gen 3 starter we pulled actually? I think so. Yeah, it was the first Gen 3 starter. So we got a Mudkip and... Froki! Nice! I know I'm getting excited over cards that are kind of like guaranteed and they're not like super valuable or anything. I'm telling you, I think they're going to be valuable in the future. For sure they're going to be valuable in the future. And having a master set is going to be really nice. So the thing is, if I have... As of right now, the cards aren't worth too much. So even if I pull doubles, I wouldn't mind having like a second complete master set just to hold. Because I'm telling you, and this is like kind of investment thing that you can do. Oh, I messed this up completely. That's unfortunate. Um, but I wouldn't mind having a second master set because in the future, I'm talking like even probably like four or five years from now, they could be worth a decent amount of money if you have it, especially if you have a full master set. Uh, we have a Froki, which I don't know if we have a common Froki, which is pretty good. Uh, Sobble, nice. Score Bunny, nice. And Pikachu. Totodile Hollow. Oh, they're. Oh, okay, no, they're the same artwork. For a second, I thought they were different artworks. I was like, wait, I don't remember this artwork. This is clean. This is super clean. Now, you know what's funny is I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like the. The Hollow Bleed through this. And I know some people have been saying it's a misprint, but I've noticed that all of the McDonald's Hollows have that. So I don't know if it's a misprint or if it's just people trying to make more money and say, oh, look, I have a misprint. I don't think it's a misprint. It doesn't look like a misprint to me, but uh, this is really good. Four foils, all ones we didn't have. Funny enough though, three of them are water. Now, you know what's funny? Okay, I know I'm talking about, your, about a bunch of other stuff. So you know how these are all recyclable packs? So you guys see the recyclable uh, logos here? I saw someone selling these packs as misprint packs or error packs because they didn't have the recycle logo here. So it was like the full pack, Un like not un I mean unopened I should say unopened but it didn't have the thing so people were trying to like sell them as like oh misprint pack I don't know if that's actually a misprint or if that's just you know some some areas did it differently than other areas I doubt it I don't know but um yeah I don't know bro people in Pokemon right now are trying to you know make money any way they can that is pretty cool though to have them without the recycle logo I guess it's like a very minor misprint but it, it is what it is nice we got another Pikachu this is one we'll take as a common this is one we'll take all right, this is our final pack, by the way. So we got a Pikachu. Popplio. I believe I have a Popplio. I I'm going to show you guys a binder at the end of this, by the way, to see where we are. Oshawa. I'm pretty sure I have an Oshawa. And Pikachu. Turtwig again. So our first double ho holo. That's not bad, though. For five packs, that's not bad. Again, if I get doubles, just complete a second master set. That's not too bad. Now, give me just one minute. I know a bunch of this is going to have to go into the binder. So just give me one minute. I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to sleeve these up and put them in the binder, and then uh, I'll come back, or I'll get back to you guys with the binder update. 
Okay, so for the binder update, here we are. We're starting off with the Turtwig, which is number four. Now, I kind of realized while I was organizing this, I was like, why didn't they just do them like Charmander, Squirtle, uh, Bulbasaur, blah, 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 and like that, that order, the Pokedex order? I found out, I think what they're doing is they're doing Grass, Water, Fire. That's just, I think, how they're doing it. Um, if you guys have a Master Set, it's probably how it is, to be honest. Uh, but one, two, three, four, obviously, we're missing. Turtwig number, or one, two, three, we're missing. Turtwig number four, nothing here in the Hollows. But we are doing making pretty good progress uh, because right here, you guys can see, we got the Squirtle and the Total Isle Hollows, which is kind of nice, which is number, what, 18 and 19, I believe. Oh, no, 17 and 18. And then if we go back here, we got the Oshawa and the Froki Hollow as well, which is really cool. Um, so the Oshawa, the Froki, then we get into the Commons. Now, the Commons I thought was going to be easier, obviously, is going to be easier because... I mean, the commons, the, you, you pull three of them, and it's just easier to finish the set. But we have the chest bin, the Charmander, the Cyndaquil here. Um, what is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something like that. And then here, this is actually getting pretty full. Uh, Fennekin, Lidin, Score Bunny. So we're only missing a few, to be honest with you. We're missing, uh, I mean, I mean, we're missing the Gen 3 guys, because the only Gen 3 one we have here is a Mudkip. Um, Trico, Torchic, we're missing. We're missing... Um, uh, some of the other jet we have Totodile, we have Cyndaquil, we don't have uh, no, we don't have Cyndaquil, no, we have Cyndaquil. Um, do we have Cyndaquil? All right, whatever. Point is, um, we got the Oshawa, the Froki, the Sobble, and the Pikachu. We got a second Pikachu common, which is pretty good as well. Um, I just put that to the side for now, but again, this is pretty cool. I'm happy that we're getting this like little mini journey started because I think it's going to be pretty easy to finish, um, and pretty fun to do. This is something that I think the cards look really cool. I really like the hollow foil on the card. Um, and I think it's a collection that I'm gonna keep forever. Like that's just this is something that when it's gone, it's gone, right? So uh, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys for watching, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. This is obviously not the last episode. I got some more packs, so uh, we're probably gonna do episode two, three, four, five, whatever it is. I'm excited. The new Pokemon journey, the new Spankle journey. By the way, here's the new binder. Um, I can update it for you guys later. Um, and uh, this is one of the coolest pages in the new binder. I'm just gonna show you guys this on the new binder. This is one of the coolest pages I have in the new binder. And um, I might do a collection video later in the future, but for now, this is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. That's